Yes, I think uh, that is very good for me. Oh, yes, wow. uh, I, um, I finished work about uh, uh, 6 p.m. Yes, mm -hmm. and uh, I, 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 um, I finished work uh, earlier. Yes. Oh, wow. So the, you go home earlier too. <laughs> Okay, because uh, yes, uh, today uh, I didn't have the meeting regular. Yes, mm. because uh, um, normally uh, every Monday, yes, um, I must have uh, a, a meeting. Yes, oh. and yes, uh, between yes um, team leader, yes, in in my division, yes. Um, but uh, uh, today is uh, my 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 boss uh, has busy. Yes, so so you are relaxed today. <laughs> yeah, so I'm relaxed. Yeah. yeah, okay. So um, okay. So are you done eating your dinner? Uh, I had a dinner with my parents. Yes. Uh, 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 two hour, yes. So you yes. are uh, yeah. you eat your dinner outside? No, yes, I had dinner in my home. Yes, with my ah, just yes. in your home. Oh, yeah, okay. okay. But, uh, you are having dinner um in a restaurant. Okay. Yes. Okay, so um, can we start our lesson? Yes. Yeah. Could you check uh, my yes. homework? Yes. Yes. To, okay. To... We will check your homework okay. first. Okay. Okay. I already checked that and uh, I save here. Okay. Here is your homework. So here is your homework. I already checked your homework. Yes. Okay, so uh, a regular verb, past participle, make the past participle. Participle, okay, number one. Um, Julie wasn't at home. She had. Yeah, very small. Could you okay. open, yes, Naka? Okay, wait. Oh, where is that? Oh, sorry. Okay. Okay. So, number one. Yes. Um, gone. Okay, this is correct. Yeah. Gone. Mm -hmm. Number two, we have, we've already had lunch. Number three, correct. So, number three, this was the first time. She had done her homework. Okay. Do, did, done. Okay. Correct. So number four, they have. So the past participle, participle of the word begin is beget, begun. Okay. Begun. Yes. Not yes. begun. Yeah. Okay, wait. I will. I will. Yes. Not began. Began is just a past simple tense. Yes. Yes. Okay, so here is the right uh, word, begun. Okay, number five. We have keep or kept the secret kept. for three years. Yes. yes. Good. Next is um, he has never. So the, uh, the past participle of the word drive is drive in. Not drive in. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Next is I have been sick all week. Very good. Number eight. By the time we arrived, the children had eaten Eaten. all the chicken. Yes. Okay. The books had fell off the table or oh, fallen. Okay. Fallen. Uh, yes. Not snap. Uh, not fell. Yeah. Fell, yes. Fall fell fallen. Okay. Fallen. Then yeah. are you okay? I felt better. 
Okay. Yeah. Correct. So eleven. I lent my umbrella to John. So I'm. I got wet. Correct. So twelve. I've been looking for ages, but I haven't found my keys yet. Thirteen. The birds have flown south for the winter. Yes. Okay. Correct. So fourteen. She has finally came. Okay. So the past participle of the word come is come. 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 Came, 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 come. 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 Yes. yes. Uh, okay. okay. So 15, don't worry, we haven't forgotten about the meeting. Yes. 15, it had be become, became, become. Okay, just yeah. like the word come. Become. Okay, very good. Come, come Here, become. Yes. Yes, very yes. cold, so we went inside. 17, you have bought a lot of clothes recently. Yes. I gotten a lovely new bike for my birthday, so I was keen to try it. Good. Okay. 19. She brought a cake to the party, but we didn't eat it. Very good. Brought. Brought. Okay. 20. Have you chosen? So this one is single uh, O. Yes. yes. Not double O. So the, the first uh, O. Yes. yes. Not double O. Yes. One O. Okay. Chosen. Oh. Yes. Have you ever drunk? Drunken, right? Drink, drink drunk, drunk, drunken. Oh, uh, yes. yes. Okay. 22. I've given some money to Julia. Good. Number 23. Have had you heard uh, of this band uh, no. before yes. you came to the USA? She has known about this problem for three months. Yes. Why has Jean left already? Okay. Okay. So these are some mistakes. So one, two, three, four, five, six out of twenty-five. Yes. Oh, not bad. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> okay. So change the verb into past simple. This time it's very yes. easy, right? Because it's all uh, okay. only past yes. simple tense. Past simple. Yes. yes. Very easy. Yes. Her here, here, uh, read, 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 yes. read, okay, so speak, spoke, understand, understood, understood. Yes. forget, forgot, forgot had, have, had, yes, um, lots, lost, yes. lost, swim, yes. swam, Swam's. give, gave, gave, become, became, became, yes, new, 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 okay, yes. no new, no new, yes, toe, Told. Yes. Lent. Lent. Yeah. Lent. Drink. Drank. Yeah. So sleep. Yes. Slept. 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 Okay. Kept. 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 Yes. Choose. 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 Yes. Begin. Okay. So this time. <laughs> yeah. Began. Yes. Began. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So we flew. Fly flew. Okay. Drive, drove, drove. Yes. teach, told, Talk. Yes. stand, sent, stand. Okay. Yes. leave, left, yes, brought, Heel. Heel. left, fell, fell, he fell, yes, she Bring. brought, brought, okay. yes, very good. Only um, one mistake. Um, wow. Good job. Okay. So irregular verbs, past simple, make the past simple irregular verbs. Yes. Okay. Irregular verbs, like for example, uh, the word itself, uh, uh, like for example, um, come, become, came. Um, different spelling, spelling, right? Okay. Stand, stood. Done, do done. Um, teacher, uh, mm -hmm. sometimes I, 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 I don't know exactly uh, when use uh, past simple and use uh, the past simple irregular. irregular. Could you give me some, some, some direction? Yeah, some, some um, ability to, to rely is. Okay, so let's learn about um, uh, using past simple. I'm oh, sorry, past simple um, irregular verbs. Okay. 
regular verb. Okay. Like for example, this one, B, the past. This is an um, example of regular verbs, words uh, which is irregular. B will become broken. So, uh, B, sorry, B will become was in past simple. So, they are different spelling. Okay? That is what you call different, uh, um, irregular verb. Uh, but uh, I would like uh, zip code in the sentence. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, because uh, sometimes I, I don't zip it in the center. Yes. Could you give uh, yes. Um, okay, like for example. Uh, okay, by email read. to me, yes. Okay, let's read the meaning. There is no rule that explain how to obtain the irregular form of the past simple, okay? There is no rule for that. So we have we just have to learn these verbs and their past forms by heart, okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So like, for example, the word, uh, the verb become. This will become, in past simple, no, no. regular verb, this will become, no, no. became. Could you return uh, the, the, my homework? Could you return my homework? I would like to talk to you. Okay. Could you return yeah. my homework? Oh, could I? Yes. Oh, yes. I, mm -hmm. Example, yes. When I see a sentence, I uh, see, I do a sentence. Okay. Uh, Sometimes I, I, I recognize yeah, uh, this sentence when use uh, past simple, when using irregular verb. Okay, so irregular verb, uh, just what like uh, I've said, um, like for example, the word stand. This is irregular because the past simple of the word stand is stood. So they are very different spelling. You change the word. Uh, example, yeah, yeah I, I think that yeah, the first time, uh, the first sentence, I came to England in 1993. Yes, yes I understand that in 1993, 1993, yes. it's exactly time in the past when I using a uh, uh, possible. Yes, yes. Yeah. And I understand when I using uh, irregular verbs. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So let's continue here so that you can um you can really yeah um uh understand irregular verb. I like I like for example the word uh boat. I boat yeah. a fil film yesterday. Yes, so today. Yes. yes. I understand. Finish in the past. Yes. yes. Yesterday. Okay. So we use the regular past simple in the same way as the regular one, but it is formed differently. So the word is formed differently. So that is why you called it irregular verb. Okay, you change, you really change the spelling of the word. Like for example, the word B. B. So for irregular verb, there will this will become was. Or where, right? So it is formed differently. B will become was and where or where. So that's why they said that um, uh, there is no rule that explain how to obtain irregular verb form of the past simple. We just have to learn these verbs and their past forms by heart <laughs> because um, uh, you can see those words. Uh, it uh, it I, changed I, I, differently. I understand words, that uh, sometimes uh, depend on uh, situation. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. Like for example, the word leave. So left. left. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very um, different in spelling. Okay. Yeah. I understand. Yes. 
Depend okay. on the uh, situation. Yes. Not um, yes. not rule. Yes. Yes. Which saturday okay. you use? Many verbs have irregular past simple forms. So the most commonly used are become, will be became, do, did, go will become went. Okay. Uh, how, uh, like for example, the word go. Okay. So when you use a regular verb went, it's very different from the word go. Okay. Yes. You, you, you I, really change uh, the spelling. Yes, I agree with you. Uh, yes. Could you uh, copy this and to send me by email? Okay. Okay, I yes. will copy this one and I will uh, send you this uh, in email. Okay. Maybe. I will um, read it. I, yes, I try on to, uh, to understand it. Okay. Yes. Okay. So um, we will continue our. Oh, sorry. How about the. <laughs> oh, I don't. Um, finish yet the homework. Yeah. Okay. So we will uh, only hear um, found. I found. Oh, you, I you don't found. need to use have here. I found your keys under the table. Yeah. Have found. Have yes. token. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Take I, token. It, it took. Took. Not because, token. Yes. Yeah. Yes, two. Two. it took three yes. hours to drive to Paris because it's a sim. You yes. will use a simple, past simple, okay? Not yeah. past participle, past simple, regular yes. verbs only. So you will okay. not use um like this one. This is past participle already talking. Yes, not have. Yes. Yes. Past simple. Okay. okay. So um okay, so those are your homework. Yes. So this time we will learn the topic for today. Unit 13. Oh, we are now in unit 13, recruitment. Oh. Okay. So can you read the code of the day? Hiring the wrong people is uh, the fastest way to undermine a sustainable business. Yes, hiring the wrong people is the fastest way to undermine a sustainable business. Oh, how can you define this? I I don't know. It's actually is meaning this sentence. This sentence. Yes. Okay, so um, as we all know that sometimes um, uh, the company hire the wrong people, right? Hire the same recruit. Recruit. Hire. You will hire applicants. Yes. Hiring. Hire. From the word hire. Okay, so hiring the wrong people is the fastest way to undermine a sustainable business. Okay. Just understand. Mm -hmm. I is um, brand um, recruitment, a uh, uh, person. Yes, recruitment, recruitment, because our topic for today is all about recruitment, okay? So that's why this is our quote of the day. So sometimes there are company who hired or recruit uh, wrong under employees. My, under my uh, sustainable business. Mm -hmm. Do you know the word susta sustainable? Do you know this word? Okay, sustainable. Able to maintain at a certain rate or level. Okay. So when you hire wrong people, what will uh, happen to your company or to your business? It's very hard to maintain the rate of the company because uh, your employee, uh, your employee is 
not suitable to your to their job, right? So how I, can you sustain the business if uh, your employees are uh, not suitable for their position? Uh, I understand that uh, when uh, you 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 hire uh, fastest uh, people, yes, so maybe yes, um, that is good for 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 company. That is, um, no, but uh, this time the coach said the hiring the wrong people, wrong people. So the fastest, if you hire wrong people. It's the fastest way that you will undermine the sustainable of business. Okay, so in uh, in in short in in a short way, um, it means that um, if you hire the wrong people, your business will be bankrupt. Yes, I understand. Yes, uh, because you way. you uh, when you uh, choose a uh, 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 bad people. Yes, yeah. maybe uh, the, the companies um, uh, don't develop and so maybe yes, uh, uh, some trouble uh, mm -hmm. happen. Some trouble, yes, uh, happen with a uh, company. Maybe yeah. yes, uh, yes. Um, mm -hmm. uh, the, the companies um, didn't have a uh, didn't have a uh, good start. Okay. So yeah, to, to uh, perform uh, some project, yeah, to perform a strategy, uh, yes, in in the future. So yeah, I think that is not good for yes. humans. Yes. Um, because uh, when you say undermine, because when you say undermine, it's um, the business will become weak, less of effectiveness, the fastest way to undermine. So undermine means uh, the business will become weak. Yes, I think that is a rich. Yes. That is a rich with comedy. Okay, yeah. can you read the meaning of undermine? Listen the effectiveness, power, or ability of, especially gradually or insidiously. Yes. Listen the effectiveness. Yes. So if you will hire wrong people, so maybe the business will become what? The. Um, I think just um, just uh, reduce uh, turnover, reduce uh, uh, something. Yes, in yes. comedy. Reduce. Yes. Okay. So that is the code of the day. So in this lesson, let's learn the word power, word related to recruitment. Okay. Let's learn some structure, relative pronouns, and small talk. So discussion, what information do you usually include in your CV? So if you are an HR staff, what criteria do you use to choose the most suitable CVs? So what steps in the recruitment process do you consider to change and why? Okay, so these are um, the topic we will discuss today. Okay, so let's have a warm up first. Look at the picture. What kind of building do you think is in the picture? Where do you think it is? So what is the link below the headline and the picture? Oh, hiring the picture. Okay. What kind of building do you think is in the picture? This one, this picture. Uh, this picture, yes, a uh, 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 big building. Yes. What kind of uh, building is this? Is this a hotel? Maybe? Yes, I think that's uh, the, the hotel. Yes. yes and okay. in a, a building, 
yes, um, needs to have a long time to to build, and yes. they, uh, I I I think that's um, they 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 um. They would say about in 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 the the uh, is a a, a a a good step, yes. In in the future, yes. Yes. Maybe yes. Uh, so. Build a, a long time. Build yes. Um, so. so in a lot uh, of in team, a lot of people, yes, and. Yes, from the start you build you build this kind of a building. You you need a lot of manpower, right? Yes. Yes, worker, construction worker, and then after that, uh, when you have this kind of a building, a company, so it's too big. So yeah. of course there should be a lot of employees around here, right? Yes. Yes. So you need to hire a lot of um, uh, workers. For the future. Yes. Okay, so look at the key notes here are about the marketing. Can you explain some terms below? Okay, can you read the key notes? Human resource uh, departments are responsible for recruiting new personnel. Candidates uh, are internally asked to In provide initially. Uh, Ah, yeah. Okay. Ask, uh, ask to provide a curriculum vitae or reason which gives uh, information uh, about the uh, quantitative exploration and skills. Okay. The recruiter then screen the application and select candidates for interview. Successful applicant are uh, hired and put on the payroll. Okay. So, can you explain some terms below? Mm -hmm. Oh, some terms below. Okay. Let's. Um, Can you explain the keynote first? The human resources departments are responsible for recruiting new personnel. Okay. Okay, so okay. I, I, I agree uh, with um, this sentence, yes. this uh, situation. Yeah, yeah, so uh, human resource is uh, very important in uh, comedy. They, yes, um, they, 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 um, they find a, a, a good person. Yes, yeah. in, 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 uh, in markets. Yeah. And they, they screen um, CV and screen some information in, in, in markets. It's about uh, people. About uh, the, the person. Yes. And yes. Yes. If, if you After are the they, president. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, they, they find uh, a, a good candidate yes, from yes. some city. And yes. yes um, after they, they, they interview. Yeah. And find a, a, a good person. Yes. For comedy. Yes, yes. That's, yeah. The employees of the company depends uh, the human resources departments, right? Because um, initially, if you are the president or if you are the owner of the company, so you should hire the good um, recruit recruiters or the human resources departments, right? Yeah. Yes, because if they will hire a wrong people, wrong um, workers, so your company will not develop uh, uh, into a good company. Yes. Yes. Okay, so the application process. So when did you last apply for 
a job. When did you apply for a job, Mr. Kong? Last what? What year did you apply for a job? Just five, uh, five years ago. Yes. Oh, five years ago. I so applied for, uh, apply for take on mine. Yeah, uh -huh. five years ago. Oh, yeah. five years so, ago. When I I I I I write I write out a CV is a very uh, carefully, very yes. um, So I I I when 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 I uh, when I did it yes I I I, I uh, consider yeah some information to input my CV. Yeah. Okay. So, yes, of course. Yes. Because when you are applying, it depends. Uh, your personality it depends upon your CV, right? Or in yeah. your uh, on your resume before because, the uh, HR will interview you. And you know, yes, uh, uh, different. Yes, uh, a person um, who graduated from the university as different as uh, a person who uh, have some. Some years in exploration about uh, yes fries mm -hmm. yeah so different so as you know yes um, when you you um, you have some operation uh, in 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 fries uh, yes uh, they 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 um, consider yeah, some information in CV. Mm -hmm. they, they, they read it uh, before uh, they, they call you to interview. So yes, um, some information in CV is very important. Yeah, so they, they interested in um, what, what did you do? Yes, your experience, yes. your experience, your skills. Yeah, yes. okay, skill. And uh, relationship and yes. yeah, uh, achieve in yes, the achievements, yeah. achievements. Uh, yes, yes. Achievement. for example, uh, yes. if you have a different certificate from your previous yeah. um, job, yes. that's the best um, uh, uh, asset you have on your yes. CV. <laughs> yes. yes. Okay, so what steps were involved in your application? What steps were involved in your application? During your application, what steps? Uh, I think that's maybe uh, three parts. And the first, yes, uh, could you uh, uh, give some um, individual information? Yes. And the, the first. And the second, uh, uh, could you give uh, some information um, in the quality? Qualification. Yes, qualification. Yeah. And um, the third, yes, um, uh, could you give uh, 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 some achievement? Some achievement. Yes. And uh, uh, upper reason about fry. Yeah. Uh, relative, relative fry is, uh, yeah, to do. Yes. Okay. I think that's uh, normally is three parts. Yeah. Yeah. So, did you attend an interview? Did you attend an interview during your application? Yes, of course, right? <laughs> Every. Yes, uh, I, I did. Yes, so I did. Yes. So, what sort of questions were you asked? Uh, what uh, questions uh, did the uh, human resources ask you? Uh, I think that's some question from um, human resource. Uh, example, yes. Um, uh, what did you do if you uh, recuse in uh, our company? Yeah. Yes. And uh, the second, yes. Um, Yes, of course, the first, usually the first questions, so oh, tell me about yourself. Oh, can you tell us about yourself? 
Yeah, yes. And the second yeah. one, okay. Tell me some like, information, yes, about yourself. Yeah. And uh, could you give uh, give us uh, some something do you want? Yes, your yes. goals. What is your yeah. goals in the future? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So yes. how do you handle um uh, how do you handle um stress or what else just like that and then yeah. um next questions are, oh why do we hire you okay. yeah example yes yeah sometimes uh, they um uh they always uh, ask uh, about you uh, advantage the and advantage which you receive uh, uh receives uh, a position in yes. uh, our company yeah 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 advantage and disadvantage when yeah. yes we we recuse uh you yes in in comedy yes that's um uh uh one of the usual questions for from the interviewer <laughs> yes okay so kevin kinlan a human resources consultant talks about three different types of job interview. Listen and complete the table. Okay, let's listen first. Unit nine, listening one, page 76. Job interviews can generally be divided into three main types. The first is what I would call the traditional interview. This is usually just a series of standard questions about qualifications, work experience, knowledge, and expectations. So what you have here is basically a list of quite straightforward questions, you know, like uh, what duties did you have in your previous job? This is still the model for a lot of interviews today. I didn't listen anything. I don't listen anything. Teacher, can you hear me? I don't hear anything.
Hello? Yes, can you hear me? Oh, I'm so sorry. Yes, I can hear yes. you now. Okay. I need to restart my uh, system. Okay, yes. Yes. Now okay. continue. It. Yes, switching. Okay, Audio says uh, slide. Yes. I don't see slides. Okay. 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 okay page. Where is it? Page six. Okay. So let's listen again. Yes. Oh. yes. What happened to my unit nine? Computer. Listening one. Page seventy six. Job interviews can generally be divided into three main types. The first is what I would call the traditional interview. This there is a problem with sound. I didn't okay. see any. What is that? Yeah, sound is bad. So oh, it's very bad. bad. Yes. So I I I don't listen clearly. What happened? It's about qualifications. How about this time? Experience, knowledge, and expectations. So what you have here is basically a list of quite straightforward questions. You know, like uh, what duties did you have in your previous job? This is still the model for a lot of interviews today. In my view, it's not the best to select staff. In fact, I would say that it's very often quite inappropriate. Then there's the case interview, which is particularly challenging. What happens here is that the interviewer presents a problem and then follows this with a series of questions to find out how the candidate would approach the problem. To give you an idea, it might go something like this. Company X wants to increase the number of university graduates that it hires every year by 50% without exceeding its current budget, which is $2 million. What would you advise them to do? Now, this puts the candidates in a pretty uncomfortable position because they're really being asked to do several things. To demonstrate that they can analyze the problem logically, formulate appropriate questions and communicate effectively with the interviewer. So it's a pretty stressful form of interview. The third type is what's known as the behavioral interview. It's designed to find out how candidates actually behave in certain situations. The questions are usually based on anecdotes from the candidate's own past. They're designed to find out about how the candidates handled tricky situations and relationships in the past. A typical question might be, can you give me an example of a situation where you had to follow orders that you didn't agree with? Now that puts the pressure on the candidate because they have to find a good example and they have to do the talking. So it opens up a lot of information and the interviewer gets to see more of the person who's sitting opposite. Okay, so do you understand the audio or do you want to listen again? Yes, so I, I, I don't listen clearly. Okay. Unit 9, listening 1, page 76. Job interviews can generally be divided into three main types. The first is what I would call the traditional interview. This is usually just a series of standard questions about qualifications, work experience, knowledge, and expectations. So what you have here is basically a list of quite straightforward questions, you know, like, uh, what duties did you have in your previous job? This is still the model for a lot of interviews today. In my view, it's not the best to select staff. In fact, I would say that it's very often quite inappropriate. Then there's the case interview, which is particularly challenging. What happens here is that the interviewer presents a problem and then follows this with a series of questions to find out how the candidate would approach the problem. To give you an idea, it might go something like this. Company X wants to increase the number of university graduates that it hires every year 
by 50% without exceeding its current budget, which is $2 million. What would you advise them to do? Now, this puts the candidate in a pretty uncomfortable position because they're really being asked to do several things to demonstrate that they can analyze the problem logically, formulate appropriate questions, and communicate effectively with the interviewer. So it's a pretty stressful form of interview. The third type is what's known as the behavioral interview. It's designed to find out how candidates actually behave in certain situations. The questions are usually based on anecdotes from the candidate's own past. They're designed to find out about how the candidates handled tricky situations and relationships in the past. A typical question might be, can you give me an example of a situation where you had to follow orders that you didn't agree with? Now that puts the pressure on the candidate because they have to find a good example and they have to do the talking. So it opens up a lot of information and the interviewer gets to see more of the person who's sitting opposite. Okay. So what are the type of interview? I think that's the type of question, uh, in video information. Okay, the type of yeah. interview. First one is the one traditional, A. traditional yes, one interview. A. One A, yes. Yes. Type in of interview. There are, there are three types of interview, right? Traditional interview. Yeah. Uh, the second one is case interview. And the third one is what? Behavioral interview, right? Yes, those are types of interview. Uh, first one is the traditional. Where the types of questions are, um, uh, they will ask the qualification, the expectation, and the knowledge of the applicant. That is what you call the traditional. The expectation. The yes. The expectation. D. Yes, expectation. Letter D. Uh, C is yes. uh, expectation. Uh -huh. C expectation. Okay. okay. Letter B. What yeah. is letter B? B. Uh, Type question uh, information, individual information. Individual information, qualification, mm. knowledge, expectation, and what yes. else? Okay. So the second type of interview is the case interview, right? Case. Uh, 2A? Yes, 2A. So first in 1A, uh, this is the traditional interview. Traditional okay. interview. Yes. yes. This is the traditional interview. 2A uh, is the case interview. Okay. What kind of interview uh, interviews it? Uh, uh, the case interview. They have to ability to analyze, formulate questions. Right, what else? For the case interview. I don't listen clearly. The duties, they will uh, ask uh, the duties of the applicant. And this uh, kind of interview. Okay, how about the third? Interview, 3A, 3A, what kind of interview it is, this one? Behavioral, right? Behavior, behavior yes. interviews. Behavioral interview, okay, so what kind of interview uh, it is? Behavioral. So A is uh, this type of interview is anecdotal, B anecdotal, and a letter B, uh, tricky situation, right? 
they will ask some tricky situations, ability to handle relationships. So B is tricky questions. They will ask tricky questions to the applicants. Tricky question. Tricky. Yes, tricky. Yes. What are tricky mean? Tricky. Okay, tricky. Okay, when you say tricky, it's difficult, awkward, awkward. Difficult, the same difficult. Yeah. Yes, difficult, awkward, problematic, delicate, uh, straightforward yeah, or uncomplicated. So these are the synonyms of the word tricky. Okay. Okay, so this is the uh, different types of job interview by Kevin Kinlan. Okay, so let's talk about recruitment. Okay, can you read? Images, uh, imagine. you were, imagine, imagine you was given responsibility for hiring several thousand employees oh. for a new hotel in a short period of time. Period, How, okay. Yeah, period of time. How would you organize the recruitment process? Okay, so imagine you were given responsibility for hiring several thousand employees. Okay, like for example, uh, <laughs> if you are the uh, HR manager of this uh, yes. building, so you will hire a thousand of employees. Okay, so how would you organize the recruitment process? Um, I think just uh, you, 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 you must to have a plan. Okay. Yeah, uh, device uh, position. A device position. Example, okay. yes, uh, a manager and uh, um, um, recession lead, and yes, uh, I think just um, device uh, a detailed position, recruitment. Yes. And so, yes, plan, um, plan. Uh, 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 to inform, to, to inform, yes, uh, uh, information in, in, in news, in a newspaper, in TV, yeah, in something. And so, yes, um, uh, after, yes, uh, you, you, you need to, 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 to check CV, to check, in, yes, um, uh, and so yes, uh, you you have schedule, have a schedule to to interview. Okay. Yes, each position. Yes. Yes. Okay. So and I, I think just have a, a detailed plan. Yeah. Okay. And yes. Um, uh, detail study and yes. uh, uh, give uh, some step yes, to recruitment and and yes uh, example yeah maybe you give a plan for uh, three months yeah. yes and uh, the first yeah maybe you cruise uh, a um, a position uh, in manager. And the second, okay. yes, maybe you uh, uh, process uh, to uh, recuse, uh, yes, um, uh, chef gas and receptionist, oh. example. Oh, and receptionist, third, yes. Yeah, yes, submit and uh, chef gas. And uh, the third, yes, maybe it's uh, another position. Yes, you need. Yes. Yeah. And different, yes. Uh, um, different uh, department of the company, right? 
And yes. I, I think just uh, you have the, uh, 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 suitable time. Yes, and and uh, to do it, yeah. Okay. So uh, let's proceed to a reading skill. So a full house. So read, read the jumbled text and arrange the extracts in the correct order. Oh. <laughs> But uh, maybe this is too long. Oh, F to F. Okay. Can you arrange this text? What is the first one that happened and then the last one until the last one? Okay, let's yes. try. Where is? Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, talk about long odds. Uh, Antonatan was vice president of human resource uh, for the launch of the Benajo in Las Vegas. Oh. Everything about the Benajo was uh, Nakusan's life. Yeah. So too was uh, the challenge. Challenge. That's uh, what front said. It, it, it very small. Very small. <laughs> I, I okay. cannot see anything. Okay. Could you use maximum it? Yeah, mm. zoom, zoom. Oh, sorry. Okay, how about this time? Oh. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so to work, uh, the challenge that uh, confront Latin. Has uh, 9,600 work in the 24th week. Nathan and his uh, HR team would have to screen uh, 84,000 applicants in uh, 12 weeks, interview uh, to uh, 27,000 uh, finalists in 10 weeks. And process uh, 9,600 high in 11 days. In the end, okay. they nice like the deadline, and here's how they did it. They did. How they okay. did it. Yeah. So, letter B. Uh, this status are as an experiment. Experiment. X experiment. It's but dreaming. Yes, experiment. But in the end, the Christ a pitch, right pitch, survived. Guinea. Guinea pig. Guinea. Guinea. Yes. Guinea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Guinea. The Guinea pitch uh, sure. survived. Okay. We served uh, Bilezo 1.9 million dollars. Most of you, you are, uh, people are afraid to let go of their highs and fries authority. But if you really want to sit at the bridge table, you've got to start thinking uh, strategically. 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 Yes, strategically. 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 Yeah. Okay. And globally. And so only one, only way to do that, uh, to eliminate. 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 Yes. That's a transition from your life. Okay. You have to be willing to say, I am in the wrong place in the Z process. You have to touch your snail uh, out of the system. Yes. Okay. So if a manager. If a manager wants to hire you, he would click on connect background check. Law okay. enforcement. Law enforcement official. Uh, would then Receive your application online and check your employment and education histories. We see rates around 8% of our candidates. 
as this stress uh, for various reasons, such as lines on the applications. If you pass uh, this and a rock test, the manager would then make the final decision. When you apply somebody, you create three flags, a personnel flag, an equal employment opportunity commission flag, and a medical flag. Why not have an electronic personnel life? In the process, we could eliminate the flies as uh, managers using the cap keep at the desk. So we uh, developed one and transmit, transmitted okay. everything from the application database to the new house database. Database. Using the, yeah, okay. database. Yeah. Base. Base. Yes. That's a base. Base. Okay. Yeah. That's a base. Using the same technology for all of our personnel and parents from parent farms means that we no longer had to collect input and find thousands of paper farms. Okay. So, oh, it's uh, next one. Oh, it's very long. Okay, Mr. Kong, can we continue this on our next uh, lesson? Because I have another class after this. Okay, I understand. Okay, and yeah. I will send this on your That's email okay. ad so that you can review this, okay? You can read. Okay. Okay. So I will just send on the email ad this one, okay? And okay. you and please arrange this text what is the order or the correct order of this text okay okay I see. okay <laughs> so see you again on wednesday because yes. i have another class after this <laughs> sorry okay. thank you teacher okay yes. thank you good night good night